next on 3. With this week's premiere of the second Hobbit movie in LA, New Zealand filmmaking is back in the spotlight. But while Peter Jackson is the talk of Tinseltown, it's another much younger Kiwi who's being talked about in New Zealand. This is a Wanaka teenager, Daisy Thor Poet. Her filmmaking talents have earned her trip to Paris, where she's made it into the final six of a major international film competition. Fantastic, Daisy. Tristram Clayton caught up with her in Auckland shortly before she flew out to France. It's a short film about sorrow and grief. It's not fair! But for the 15-year-old who made it, it's brought praise, recognition and a trip to Paris. We were told about a month ago and we were just so excited. Yeah, we were really happy that we got into the finals. Daisy Saw Poet directed, shot and edited her five-minute film Forever Emily last year. But it was the film's powerful storyline that caught the international judging panel's attention. Forever Emily is about a teenage girl who overcomes her grief by writing about her feelings. It's hard writing this to you, knowing that you're gone. I miss the things we used to do together. I like making movies that people can relate to and around the time when I was thinking for ideas for the movie my uncle in New York died. I didn't know him very well but I was able to view the emotions of grief through my family and take what I'd learnt and put it into a teenage character in the movie which people could relate to and the teenage audience who watches the movie can relate to. The film was chosen from 650 entries from 28 countries. An impressive achievement for someone who's had no formal filmmaking training. I'm so sorry you had to leave. I'll always remember you. And mostly I learnt stuff off YouTube and offline, like the tutorials online. So just self-taught? Yep, mostly. And it's a training method that clearly works for her. First made my film, my first film when I was 12, and I entered it into the Panasonic KWN competition. I didn't win, but I just wanted to make the film, to be honest, for the prize. And then as I went through the process of making the film, I decided that I really like filming. So then the next year, I wanted to make a film just for the fun of making a film. And I entered it into the competition again, and I won, which is cool. Daisy says she quite enjoys a good action movie, but her favourite director is a woman who also spends much of her time in central Otago. She says no. She says she'd rather be born to life by nature than get back on your stinking tub. Well, actually, Jane Campion's my favourite film director, mostly for the piano. I really like her down-to-earth and New Zealand style, and I think um, that would be a good film um, area to get into, New Zealand films. As for the future, Daisy's already got a clear vision. Well, I've still got two years of school, but when I leave school, I'm definitely going to do something in film, but I mostly want to be a film director. Directing's a thing for you? Yeah. What is it about directing? Um, well, I really like being in charge and just um, knowing everything. And, yeah. I'll always remember you. Best friends forever. Emily. Lovely Tristram Clayton reporting. Talking of Tristram Clayton, he is at Auckland now awaiting the return of Chris Cairns. Chris was part of the Sky commentary team at the West Indies uh, Black Caps 